I still remember the first time I saw Street Fighter 2 on an arcade machine. I was immediately blown away. Fighting games always attracted people since the beginning of civilization. And maybe even before. Some bloodier than others. When first computers appeared, fighting games appeared as well. You could actually participate in the fight and not go to top. Unless you play against some short-tempered guy and win. I won't cover all fighting games, it will take forever. I'll cover just most famous and somehow interesting, in my opinion. It's 1976 and Knight in Armor was released. I'm not entirely sure if it can be considered a fighting game, it was jousting, but for the sake of this video, let's say it was first. Then Sega released first boxing game, Heavyweight Champ. It had black and white graphics, side view perspective and featured controller in the shape of boxing glove. Another weapon based game came out three years later, named Warrior. It was a duel between two knights rendered in black and white vector graphics. The used processor was too slow to render background, so everything you see besides the knights is printed and knights are projected on top. I've never played any of these games. Boxing, on the other hand, I actually played back in the day. It used bird's eye view as well. It's pretty simple, there's only one punch you can execute. And to be honest, gameplay was, and still is, rubbish. Another original name for the game, Boxing from Mattel. At start, you can choose color of your ET, each with different strength and speed. Then press some buttons until you either win or lose. Yet another superb game for Atari. Karate! And again, just press something until you hit the opponent. And if you think that boxing was a bad game, you gotta try this. Even though they named it Sword Fight, it seems more like two Jedi's measuring their joysticks. And I can't even make out what that green thing is. Apparently, they couldn't come up with a life meter. First Rocky boxing game was released this year. It was based on Rocky 3 and you could play as either Rocky or Club Lang. It was a bit more sophisticated than previous boxing games. And this is the first game where the player could throw some things at the opponent. I don't want to be too critical here, but this game is not any better. I never understood the appeal of wrestling. But it was just a matter of time before they make a wrestling game. And here it is. Tech Team Wrestling is considered to be the first. It was released as the Big Pro Wrestling in Japan. Come on. Year 1984 brought another boxing game from Sega. Champion Boxing. This is the first game designed by famous Yu Suzuki. Who also created Virtual Fighter or Shenmue. Shuse Ozumo was the first sumo game and it wasn't actually that bad. Yeah, I know these games are 40 years old. And I know there was nothing else but man, they're horrible and most of all unplayable. First at least remotely playable game from this year was Kung Fu Master. To save your girlfriend who was kidnapped because reasons, you need to walk through a 5 story house and beat up every guy they throw at you. I spent a lot of time playing this game in the arcade back in the day. It was fun game. Another game from the year that wasn't bad at all was Karate Champ. 
as the title suggests, you are participating in a championship. What is quite interesting about this arcade, it's controlled by two joysticks instead of buttons. It was also starring in a famous movie. In the air, Kung Fu plays a warfare baby which is supposed to be Bruce Lee, against opponents each with different fighting style. Even fitter babies and some girls, 11 characters in total. There was also quite a large variety of unique moves, 16 to be precise. Way of the Exploding Fist was a bit similar to Karate Champ. It was later sort of copied by System 3 under the name International Karate. Even though they copied almost the entire game pixel by pixel, they used 8 different backgrounds, unlike the original. Typhoon Girl was the first game that introduced throws and grappling. Origin released Mobius this year. It wasn't exactly a fighting game, it was actually an RPG. But fights are presented in 2D style like other fighting games from this era. Bounces was an interesting mix of fighting games and Arkanoid. The goal was to knock down your opponent either by a weapon or the bouncing ball. Something was still missing in fighting games. Variety of characters. Konami came out with Galactic Warriors. The game itself was rubbish but it was the first game featuring more characters with different moves. Lots of boxing games came out this year. Most of them were horrible though. I suppose everybody knows Capcom, or at least their Street Fighter or Resident Evil series. Their first fighting game was called Trojan. It was released for Nintendo Entertainment System and featured sword fighting. Also, sequel to ER Kung Fu was released. Weight Fat Baby got slimmer, graphics got worse, and the game turned into a beat em up. And this time, you beat up Weight Fat Flying Babies. Sega released Champion Kendo. It was the first Kendo game and it wasn't any good. Fans of the Fist of the North Star could enjoy the game for the Master System. Alpha Right was an interesting mix between fighting game and a shooter. Highlander was rubbish. 
but you could actually cut off the head of your opponent. This is the first game to feature counters and hidden moves you can find in the manual. You could call this the first game to utilize combination of controls to perform some special moves. And this is the end of the first part. Most of the games from this year were simply horrible. 1987 was much better. I'll see you next time. Cheers!